Hi, and thank you for your interest in learning about EasyCPM, a universal screener and progress monitoring set of assessments available to students in grades kindergarten through eighth. EasyCPM includes access to the math practice program CBM skills that is included in your yearly subscription of the EasyCBM district version. In this video, we will look at the features within CBM skills, skills for students to practice, and the process for creating student groups and assigning students practice modules. Released in 2021, CBM Skills was developed specifically for students in kindergarten through fifth grade to practice the math standards they are learning in school, particularly those skills that are assessed on the Easy CBM benchmark assessments and within the progress monitoring probes. Each distinctive set of skills in CBM Skills, such as analyzing shapes, adding two-digit numbers, and converting fractions to decimals, is organized within a module. Each module contains about 10 questions for the student to answer with immediate feedback provided. The skills are aligned to specific grade level standards. There are between eight and 10 modules available per grade level. The reports in EasyCBM inform the skills for which the student might practice in CBM skills. Here we see the item analysis report in EasyCBM. In this example, the student Tyler missed questions in several different domains on the EZCBM benchmark assessment. The skills he can practice in order to hopefully show growth on the next benchmark or in taking a progress monitoring probe are shown here on the right. To access CBM skills, log in to EZCBM and click the Resources tab at the top right. Then, Click the blue CBM Skills link within the Other Applications from the EasyCBM Team gray box to be taken to CBM Skills. Click Continue. If you have not yet created a CBM Skills login, click the gray Teacher Sign Up link to register for an account. Click the purple Teacher Sign In button to log in if an account is already created. And when you create a new CBM Skills account, be sure to change the default password for your students to log into the program during this initial setup process. When students are ready to begin practicing a skill, they will log in using the provided web address and password from their teacher. On the home screen, they will see all of the modules for which their teacher assigned them. Students who would like to practice their math skills in a different language will want to select the language from the home page prior to module selection. Clicking a module opens the screen for the student to begin practicing the skill. If the student would like the question read aloud to them, they can click the speaker icon in the top right corner. At the lower portion of the screen, the student will notice 10 circles representing the 10 items he or she will answer for that skill. As the student responds correctly to the question, a blue circle will be filled in. Incorrect responses for the item display in gray. The largest circle indicates the question in which the student is currently answering. In this example, the student answered the first two questions correctly, missed question number three, and is currently answering question number four. Once the student enters an answer in the text box, the answer tab will light up and the student receives immediate feedback detailing if the response is correct or if the student did not answer it correctly. A scratch pad is provided for each question so that the student can work out the problems on the screen. Select the squiggle line icon in the lower left corner to display a selection of colors for which to draw. A trash can icon and an eraser are provided for erasing any or all of the work the student displays. Click the squiggle line again to hide the colors and type your answer. Students earn badges within CBM skills depending on the number of questions answered correctly. A bronze badge indicates the student answered seven of 10 questions correctly. A silver badge is awarded to those answering eight of 10 questions correct. And gold is awarded to those students answering nine or 10 questions correct. Once the student answers all 10 questions, they will click Next to submit their answers. If they missed one, two, or three questions, CBM Skills will ask the student if they would like to answer one more question to earn the next level badge. If the student answers the bonus question correctly, CBM Skills will reveal the badge earned and show a fun graphic. 
Once the student exits the module, any badge earned will display at the top right corner of the module. Within the teacher login, selecting Reports and then Student Report displays each student's badge earned by skill and any modules the student attempted to complete. Click any of the badges to view the student's tries to complete the module. To review the questions the student answered within the module, select the attempt and then the review icon. Each question and the student's response will appear. For any question answered incorrectly, the correct answer will appear. Selecting the second tab, Progress Overview, in the Reports area displays a report of the badges earned by the student within the selected group. The outline badge in the first column reveals the number of modules students have begun but have not yet completed. Hovering over the light purple bar reveals the number of such modules. The badge in the second column is the bronze badge. Any modules in which a student answered 7 of 10 questions correctly will be indicated in the bar here. The next column includes those modules in which a silver badge was earned. Like the other badges, hovering over the bar indicates the modules in which the student answered the specified number of questions correctly. A silver badge is awarded to those answering 8 questions correctly. Those modules in which a gold badge was earned will be indicated in this column. And finally, the last column indicates those modules assigned to the group for which students have not yet begun. The lower portion of the report reveals each module assigned to the group and the names of those students who have started but not yet finished the module, or earned a badge, or have not yet begun the specified module. Looking at the Number Lines module, for instance, two students earned a silver badge, while four students have not yet begun the module. The bars along the top for each module match the colors indicated in each column. The two students earning a silver badge are indicated in this first bar, and those students who have not yet begun the module are indicated in this white bar. Click the Download Report option in the upper right corner of the screen to view and print a PDF of the Progress Overview Report. The skills for practice in kindergarten include those shown here and incorporate skills within counting and cardinality, operations and algebraic thinking, number and operations in Base 10, measurement and data, and geometry. The first grade skills assessed in CBM skills include those in the domains of operations and algebraic thinking, number and operations in Base 10, measurement and data, and geometry. The second grade skills address skills within addition and subtraction, place value, standard form from written form, and the introduction of money. Third grade modules allow for students to practice solving word problems, multiplication and division items, converting fractions, and they provide questions about graphs. Modules for fourth grade students focus primarily on fractions with comparing them, multiplying and dividing them, and converting fractions to decimals. Measurement is also emphasized with questions asking students to solve word problems related to measurement. And finally, the modules for fifth grade students include further practice with fractions, particularly with adding, subtracting, multiplying, and solving word problems involving fractions, as well as questions around area and volume and plotting points on a coordinate grid. This next portion of the video will address the steps for creating student groups and assigning modules to students. Once you create an account and sign in, the next step is to add students to the program. On the Student Overview page, click the Add Students icon on the far right. Student names can be imported from Google Classroom or added manually. When the teacher clicks to add a student, it will show the login address, username, and password for the student. Student rosters cannot transfer from EasyCBM. With students in CBM skills, the next step is to create student groups. Click the Group Modules tab and then New Group tab to begin organizing your students. Students can be grouped in a variety of ways, including by the recommended skills for practice from the EasyCBM benchmark assessment results. Clicking New Group will reveal the following screen. Add a name to the group and then select the modules to assign to the group. Click the arrow button on the right to add the skills to the group. Then click Save. The modules added to the group display on the right. 
To add specific modules for practice to each group or change modules for the group, select Edit Modules. Click within each skill that you would like a group to practice and then click the arrow on the right to add those skills to the right-hand column. Students within a group can be assigned as many skills as necessary for completion and they can take the modules in any order. To change the group in which the student is assigned, click the Student Overview tab and then select the drop-down menu to select the student's name. For additional questions about CBM Skills or to learn more about the features in the program, access the CBM Skills Help Desk. On the home page, scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen and click Help Desk. Either search for a topic or question or click one of the available topics to begin. Search categories include answering the questions in the modules and editing which modules to assign to students, managing groups and students, understanding the reports, how to sign in and create an account, how to change a password, and learning more about the badges. To learn more about EasyCBM, check out our additional videos on an overview of EasyCBM, the benchmark assessments and progress monitoring measures, the reports for administrators and teachers, the student testing experience, how to order and receive EasyCBM training, and Write Right Now, a writing program part of your EasyCBM subscription. Thank you for your interest in EasyCBM and CBM skills. Please contact your assessment consultant or visit us at RiversideInsights.com to know more about how EasyCBM can support your students and elevate their learning potential. Thank you and have a wonderful day.